Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Farhan Minto Atman. I am one of the group members 59 from UTM Space KL. So in this video, we are going to make a tutorial video of call logging. Since we are in pandemic situation and unable to do the task in the lab, so we are going to do this tutorial call logging by using anything we had in our house. Before that, let me introduce you guys my team members. In group 59, we had 5 team members, including me. Nurul Farhani bin Uthman. Second one is Amir Hamza bin Muhammad Ahir. Third is Azni Linus. Fourth is Muhammad Khairul Nizam bin Suhaimi. And fifth is Muhammad Nazmi Ashraf bin Ahmad Nizam. Now, we can go to uh, call logging introduction. Okay, as you can see here, core is a cylindrical section of rock or fragment thereof taken as a sample of the interval penetrated by a core barrel and brought to the surface for examination and for analysis. All drill hole data gathering is called logging. For logging, the geologist will require a notebook or logging sheet, pen, tape, measure, bank knife, clinometer and ruler for measurement angles. For easy identification of rock types, it's best to look at wet core. And then, after the core has been recovered from the core hole and the core barrel been opened, the core should be placed in a core box. The core should always be examined in good light, preferably natural light. No other skills are required other than ability to make competent mineral and rock identification. So you can see the sample of core logging on the below pictures. The theory of the core logging. Rocks seen in natural outcrops, cores and excavations should normally be described in the following sequence. First, material characteristic. There is strength, structure, color, texture, grain size and rock name. And then the second link is general information which is additional information and minor constituents, geological information. But not least, the theory of core logging is mass characteristic which is state of weathering, discontinuities and fracture state. So the objective of this experiment is we need to obtain physical description and RQD of rock cores recovered from borehole drilling. My name is Amir Hamza Domahe. So I want to explain about the requirement of core logging. So we have a few requirements. So the first requirement is a uh, basic information. So we need to know about the uh, location, about the date of water leaving, water level reading. And the second is drilling method and progress. So uh, we have to know about the machine, about the core barrel and detail of core size. And another thing, uh, we need to know about the description of type and condition of material encountered. So from here, we, we need to know about the rock type, about the strength, about the weathering, about the defect and structure. After we got our sample, uh, so we have to make a core recovery measurement. So for the core reco uh, recovery measurement, uh, we need the solid core piece of 100 mm or more in length, so we call it stick. And if a solid core less than 100 mm, we call it piece. So uh, the, addition the additional material that may have been lost from previous core run, uh, we have a few factors. And then one of these is the core stem left from the previous one, uh, run. After that, we have to find the RQD, which is the rock quality designation. So the equation is uh, the total length of core stick, which is the more than 100 mm, divide to the total length. The percentage we got for uh, RQD, so we can classification the rock uh, strength, which is uh, we have a very poor, poor, fair, good, and essential. We need to measure the total length of the sample. And after that, we need to measure the length of the crack. And after we measure the total length and the length of the crack, we need to calculate and analyze the result. 
Hi, my name is Muhammad Nazmi Ashraf bin Ahmad Nizam. Okay, for my video, I'm gonna tell about uh, lab uh, exercise lab for log for call logging. Okay, as you can see, as the result, we have get a data for two type of call. First type is call A, second type is call B. Okay, so we have to find the call recovery, call recovery percent and RQD rock quality designation okay for core recovery how to find the percent is a uh, length of the void natural void doesn't matter what what the distance we have to calculate it uh, sum it and divide by length of core and, and then times 100% so we get a percent of core recovery so for core A we get 100% and for core B also 100% as from the data okay second is rock quality designation RQD to find RQD percent the core length have to uh, 100 and above with the natural only the natural void for so for this for this data that we provide from the lecturer all data was a natural void so the natural void that over 100 and then divide by length of total core recovered and then times 100 to find the find the rock to find the RQD and then we get a percent so for core A we get 61.33 and then for core B we get 79% so the calculation the full calculation are on the report the conclusion from this experiment is natural rock mass are among the most variable geology material the variability of the engineering properties of rock could be due to one more of the following factor that is constituent mineral degree of weathering moisture content bedding plane joint and fault the engineering behavior of rock mass is often also a function of scales. It includes performance is depend on the frequency joint, joint spacing and characteristic of the joint. Furthermore, durability of the rock must also be addressed when such geology material is used for engineering purpose. Accurate rock core logging can give preliminary or even detailed information of the above requirement for the use in design process in rock engineering as presented in this paper.